Good morning, folks. Today we're going to see a large and unusual earthquake. We'll check in on Kong Ray pounding Taiwan. We'll see the first public update from the latest magnetic field monitoring mission, but we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. There were several coronal surges, a few solar flares, but not much in the way of eruptive activity. The northern incoming spots had the biggest flare of the day, an M7, but otherwise it was relatively quiet given the potential. Things are also relatively quiet here at Earth. Solar wind plasma stream is slightly more intense than normal, but at a stable level. That stability has allowed the Earth's magnetic field to handle it without storm conditions developing, as this morning the KP is dropping further back towards the baseline. The solar flares we did get transitioned from the departing spots to the northern incoming active regions. This is the M7 yesterday, which was short-lived and did not produce a CME. We may expect further flaring from these active regions as they have significant size, and they're cycling through complex magnetic configurations as they morph around. We'll be watching for more today, but up next, let's go to seismicity. Top quake of the day was a magnitude 6 event off the coast of Oregon. Luckily, this was out to sea, and hopefully, it wasn't a foreshock. It's one of the scariest faults on Earth there just offshore of the northwest states. Folks, this is Kong Ray. The typhoon has struck Taiwan, and its structure is breaking down while it maintains its terrible winds and extreme rainfall. It's made worse by how slowly it's moving. Best of luck to everyone there, as I'm sure the post-analysis of damage is going to be rough. Lastly today, folks, a technical paper is out from the Macau Science One team. For those who don't remember, this is China's magnetic field monitoring mission, one we desperately need given the lack of relevant data and news from NASA's MMS and the ESA Swarm mission the last several years. It is on track to deliver total field data in the near future after its first task of dissecting the South Atlantic anomaly has been completed. There is still hope for public disclosure of the state of our disaster cycle. Don't forget, folks, lots of great reasons to come out to the ranch before the end of the year. First conference day is this Saturday, November 2nd. Head to ObserverRanch.com to schedule your visit. Later today, the special issue of Observer Review will come out, General Science Updates Monthly, special issues and videos about once a month as well. It's the best way to keep track of all the relevant science coming out each month. Link to join is below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.